so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Did you see what I was just doing? <laughs> I was acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, and today we're at Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara, California. And I have a great idea. Why don't you and I go inside and see if we can find some dinosaurs? Yeah, let's go! Wow, I'm having a lot of fun! Whoa! <gasps> Look at this! Prehistoric forest? Wow! Prehistoric? Yeah, that was a really long time ago. And actually, at a point of prehistoric times, there was dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs. Do you love dinosaurs? Yeah! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a dinosaur roaring! Whoa! 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 Whoa. What is this? Wow, looks like a really colorful book. I wonder what's inside. Whoa! <laughs> All right. <gasps> wow, there's a letter, a message. It says, find these five dinosaurs in the prehistoric forest. We're there right now. Whoa! Then choose your favorite dino and color it. Whoa, cool! All right, looks like we have to find these dinosaurs. Whoa, cool. There's three dinosaurs. Ooh, four and five. All right, let's find all five of these dinosaurs and then we'll color one. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. This dinosaur just roared! So cool! Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Hmm, it does have plates on its back. Huh, I wonder if it's in this book. All right, is it this dinosaur? No, let's see. Oh, what about this one? Definitely not. Could be this one. Close, but that's not it. Huh, what about that one? No. <gasps> is it this one? Yeah! You can tell by all those plates. Oh, I know what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, I could tell because the plates on its back. Every stegosaurus have at least 17 plates. Yeah, or more. So cool. And they actually are herbivores. That means they eat plants. I like eating plants too. <laughs> yeah, like lettuce or Salad and spinach, yum! So healthy. <laughs> okay, hey, we should probably check this box off so we can keep track of what dinosaurs we find. All right, made a little X right there. Wow, perfect. Whoa, cool. All right, let's keep exploring and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Please do not touch or feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I definitely won't touch or feed the dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out, another dinosaur. Whoa, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, it looks like it has some horns. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hello, hey. All right, let's see if we can find the dinosaur in the book. Is it this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! You're right, it is! All right, we need to mark it off right here. Yeah! Do you know what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, it's a Triceratops. Do you know how we know? Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Wow! All right, do you see the horns? Yeah, let's count them together. One, two, three! 
three horns. Yeah, its name is Triceratops. Tri, T-R-I. Tri means three. Yeah, so this is a Triceratops. Wow, good job. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring and see what other kind of dinosaurs we can find. Yeah! Check it out, another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so cool. Well, hey, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. Whoa, hey, dinosaur. <laughs> All right, okay, well, it's not this one. Yeah, because this one's the Triceratops, remember? Yeah. All right, what about one of these two? Is it this one? Definitely not. What about this one? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. Good job, we found another dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. Put a little X right there. Wow, awesome. <laughs> well, this dinosaur does look really cool, but I don't know the name of this dinosaur. Huh, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. Oh, hey, Hi. who are you? I'm Jenna, I'm the director of education. Wow, that's cool. So that means you know a lot about dinosaurs? I do know a lot about dinosaurs. Wow, well my friends and I were just trying to think of this dinosaur's name. Do you know its name? I do. This is an Eoplocephalus. Eoplocephalus, that's hard to say. Wow, do you know any cool facts about this dinosaur? I know a lot of cool facts about this dinosaur. Wow. It's covered in armor from its head all the way down to its tail. Wow. It's got spikes on its back, horns on its head, and even a club tail. Oh yeah, the club tail. Ooh, and the spikes and the horns. Wow, and the really thick armor skin. Why does this dinosaur have all of that? Yeah, this dinosaur has all of those features to protect it from predators. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching us the name of this dinosaur and some fun facts. Is there any other dinosaurs that you could show us? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Another dinosaur, yeah! Whoa, this is a really cool looking dinosaur. Wow, should we check to see if it's in the book? Let's check. All right, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, well, it's not this dinosaur. We already found that dinosaur. Ooh, is it this dinosaur? No, okay, we found that one. Let's see, what about this dinosaur? Oh yeah! It is! Wow, good job! Thanks so much for helping us find this dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what kind of dinosaur is this? This is a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a hard name to say. And what's that thing on its head? Is that a horn? It's actually not a horn. Oh. It's actually a sinus. A sinus? Like it connects to the nose? It connects to its nose. Wow, why do they have that? Well, they use it almost like a trombone. They suck in air and then they blow it out as a really loud, deep sound. Oh, I know what a trombone is. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and look at its mouth, it's really wide. Yeah, it's so it can hold hundreds of teeth. Oh, really? Like really strong, big, sharp, massive teeth? Well, actually more of a lot of little teeth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does it eat with its teeth? It eats lots and lots of plants, a lot of plants. Wow, really? And do they then grow in and then stay there forever? Well, no, they're constantly losing their teeth, kind of like little kids do. And then new teeth grow in and they eat more plants. Wow, that is really cool. Thank you so much for teaching us about these two dinosaurs. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. I've got more dinosaur things to do today. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you so much. Wow, that was really nice of her. All right, so we found four dinosaurs, but we need to find five dinosaurs. So there must be one more dinosaur around here. <gasps> Another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so big and furious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. 
All right, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's our last dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So big and fierce, but cute teeny little arms. Whoa. <laughs> and do you see its teeth? Yeah, they are very big and very sharp. Yeah, and they're actually shaped like a banana. Whoa. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool because their jaws are so strong. They're actually the most strongest jawed dinosaur that we know of. Wow, and actually, what we think now, the juveniles, the teenagers of T-Rexes, actually might have had some feathers. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool. <laughs> All right, now let's go pick a dinosaur and color it in. This is gonna be fun, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about those five dinosaurs? Wow, and they were all so big, and it was cool to learn about what they eat. Whoa, and their teeth. <laughs> all right, let's uh, decide which dinosaur we should color. <laughs> all right, let's see, the Triceratops, or one of these two. Huh, let's see, how about I was supposed to pick my favorite dinosaur out of these five. The T-Rex is pretty cool, but I don't know if I can pick my favorite because they're all so cool. Well, hey, why don't we color the Stegosaurus? So then we can color the plates all different colors. Wow. All right, first let's take the green one. Ooh, here you go, Stegosaurus. Ooh, nice green plate. Ooh, how about red? Whoa, there you go. Whoa, this is gonna be a very colorful Stegosaurus. Yeah, I used orange, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we'll use my second other favorite color. Yeah, blue. There we go. Oh, so colorful. Yeah, do you remember what Stegosauruses eat? Yeah, plants, because they're herbivores. Ooh, how about pink? Mm. <laughs> there you go, yeah, pink. Ooh, and let's do the last plate as purple. Whoa, look at that. Now that is a colorful Stegosaurus. All right, last but not least, a green scribble. Wee! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take green and draw a plant right here? Yeah, like it's eating. Ooh, there you go. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> wow. What a great Stegosaurus. Very colorful. They didn't look like this back then, but it still looks really cool. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about dinosaurs with you. I sure do love dinosaurs. What magnificent creatures they were. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this book right here so then the next person that comes here, they can color one of their favorite dinosaurs. Yeah, all right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippy. Oh, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. And this place is so much fun. It has a lot of cool science things in there. Yeah, today you and I will learn a lot about some colors. Ooh, blue and orange and other great colors too. And other fun things we can see with our eyes. Whoa, like light. <laughs> cool. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. This is the in-
innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, Hi. who are you? My name is Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you. Welcome to the innovation workshop. Great. Thanks for having me. I'm Blippi. And what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna design and build our own LED flashlight. LED flashlight? I love flashlights. Cool. They allow you to see at night, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, do you have one made? Yeah, this one's made already. Let me show you, I'm gonna turn it on. Whoa, cool. Can I check yeah, it out? Yeah, go for it. Whoa, look, it's really small. And it doesn't really look like a normal flashlight, but I can definitely peek in the little cracks and crevices. <laughs> cool. Well, how do we make one of these? Well, first let's take a piece of wood. Oh, sit okay. down here. All right. And you got a piece of wood right there. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna take <laughs> some of this conductive tape. Oh, okay. it's shiny. Yeah. And we're gonna put a piece of it on each side of the wood. Okay. So this tape is metal? It's got conductive material in it, like metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And so you got one side done. Yep. Wow. And now then let's do the other side too. Okay. Put one on the other side. Just like the first side. There we go. Yeah, one on that side, one on that side. <laughs> Great, yours looks just like mine. Now let's yeah. take a battery. Okay, here's one right here, a battery. A little battery, and we're gonna clip it to one side of our flashlight. Okay, all right, here's a clip, a little clip. Okay, now Perfect. it's the fun part. We gotta pick an LED, a little light bulb. Oh, yeah! And we've yeah. got all these colors. Whoa, cool! They're really small. Looks like they have red. Ooh, I could pick from a yellow one. Oh, a blue one. Whoa, a white one or a green one. Hmm, maybe I'll do the green today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do red. All right. So now we're gonna take these little wires coming out of the light bulb uh -huh. and stick it over the tape. Okay. Oh, so it has to touch the conductive tape. Exactly. All so right. So mine's not turning on yet though. Is yours turning on? No, it's not. It's not working. So here's the last step. We've got to flip these clips down. Oh, that makes sense to complete the circuit. To complete the circuit, right. Check oh, it out, you got Kevin. it! Yeah! <laughs> wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for teaching us how to make an LED flashlight. Well, thanks for <laughs> building with me. All right, well, I should keep exploring. Cool, have fun out there. See ya! <laughs> See ya. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, it looks like a white cube stacked on top of other white cubes. Whoa, and look at this! Looks like someone was here before me. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I try and make them connect? All right, how about like this? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right, there we go. Now maybe I can put another cube. Yeah, a cube is just a bunch of squares. You see? Yeah. See a square and 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 a square, and you put a bunch of squares together and it makes a cube. Six sides to a cube. All right, there we go. Whoa, we did it. Whoa, whoa. Looks like someone made a really cool tower. Oh no. Well, it was really cool. Well, how about we rebuild it and make a new tower? All right. Let's start with some squares, like this blue square, and this red square, and this green square. I don't see another big one, but if you connect them, look at that! Yeah! Now it's a triangle! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Square, triangle! Whoa, pretty cool. All right, let's flip it up. All right, now maybe we can put some things on the top, some triangles. Whoa, and then if they were really big, you could put them all together and then it would have a roof. Whoa, all right, what colors do we have? Orange, ooh, we have green, we have red, whoa, ooh, we have purple. Wow, so colorful. Ooh, look at this one, yeah. The color yellow, whoa. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! All right, I'll lay these flat. 
<laughs> now someone else can build their own colorful fort. <laughs> Whoa, so pretty and colorful. Whoa, oh, what does this one look like? Oh, this one is also very colorful. How many colors do you see in there? I don't know, but there's a lot. <laughs> All right, whoa, let's see. Looks like another one. Whoa, there's even circles in there. Do you see all those little teeny circles? Wow, circles are so cute and small and colorful in there. Oh, here's one more. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, cool, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> 996, 997, 998, 999. <laughs> Whoa, cool, this place is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, it looks like a steering wheel. <laughs> Whoa, like a steering wheel on a vessel, like we're sailing in the ocean. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, when you spin this, that spins. But when you stop it, that stops. All right, let's spin it to the right. Whoa, now that's spinning to the right. Let's spin it to the left. Whoa, now that's spinning to the left. Wow, and did you notice how colorful that is? Yeah, and sometimes when you mix colors, depending on the color, it makes a new color. Like say, if you mix blue and yellow, yeah, when you mix them, it makes green. Whoa, woohoo, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep exploring. Whoa, whoa, speaking of colors, this wall is so colorful. Whoa, looks like we have some green lights, some red, some pink, ooh, and some orange. What does it say? I heart Moxie, Museum of Exploration and Innovation. That's where we're at, woohoo! All right, do you see when I pull this out? Yeah, it doesn't light up. But when you put it in, it does light up. It's because there's some light behind here. And then the light bounces off the edges and the sides, and then it comes out the end. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Whoa, look, <laughs> it looks like me. Wow, see my orange glasses? Ooh, and my bow tie. Oh, hello, Blippi. <laughs> All right, let's use a paintbrush. Really big. Well, let's use some green. Ooh, look at this. Wee! Yeah, I can draw with my finger. Whoa, wow. So great. Ooh, what about a spray can? Let's do red. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wee! <laughs> This is looking really good. Oh, wait a second. Why don't we make me a body? All right, there we go. All right. And then an arm, another arm, a leg, and a leg. There we go. There's a hand, there's another hand, there's my foot, there's my other foot. Whoa! Oh, and my hat. Wee! <laughs> All right, last but not least, the orange on my hat. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, how does that look? Really good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, yeah, this. You can actually draw on it. Yeah, let's see, let's test it out. Here we go, okay. Yeah, some spray paint. Okay, let's actually uh, make a red background. Actually, you know what? Let's erase that. Whoa, do you see it up there? Whoa, this is so cool. All right, how about let's spell Blippi. Yeah, you know how to spell Blippi, right? All right, let's get a blue and whoop. Here we go, ready? And watch up there at the same time. Here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. <laughs> Flippy! Whoa! Good job! All right, this is so much fun. Are you having fun? I am too! Whoa! Cool! Wow, 
Wow, what a cool globe! Yeah! A globe, or a sphere, is a circle, but three-dimensional. Yeah! And it says my name. Wow! Wasn't this so much fun today, learning about science? Yeah! We learned about some colors, and yeah, light. Things that we can see with our eyes. Whoa! <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? Hold on. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Trick or treat. Oh. <laughs> Hello. It's me, Blippi. Hey, and I'm Mika. <laughs> And today we're at Logan's Candies in Ontario, California. Yeah, <laughs> and it's Halloween time, which means you can dress up in any costume that you want. Mm -hmm. And you can go around saying, trick or treat. Yeah, <laughs> and then you get treats. Oh, I love treats and candy. Ooh, Me trick too. or treat. Oh, I don't have any treats for you. Hmm. Me neither. Oh, well, good thing we're in a candy store. <laughs> Let's go explore. Come on. <laughs> Find some Halloween candy? Yeah, there's so much candy here, but mm -hmm. I don't even know what to choose. Yeah, there's so many choices. Yeah. Whoa, mm. and look, there's some more candy here. Some more candy? What's Ooh. that? Raspberry gummy puffs. Ooh, those look mm. yummy and really <laughs> chewy. Ooh, check out the candy corn. Oh, look at it. Yeah, candy corn is really cool because, oh, it has orange, one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, and yellow, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a good treat. Ooh, and gummy worms. Oh, that's really funny. You don't want to eat real worms, but these are candy gummy worms. Yum. Yummy. <laughs> Whoa, and marshmallows. <gasps> They're good. Ghost marshmallows. Oh, I love candy so much. Mm -hmm. And lucky for us, we just had a really nice, big, healthy meal so we can have some candy. Mm -hmm. I love candy. Ooh. But candy has a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it a sometimes Sun treat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you eat a meal of yummy food, even if it's healthy, or if you're eating candy, always remember to brush your teeth and floss. That's right. Keep them nice and clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome to Logan's. How can oh, I help hi. you? Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Jerry. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm Blippi. Hey, hi, nice and Blippi. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. What, can I get some candy for you? What can we get? Yeah, well, I think it'd be really cool if I got to pick out a treat for my best friend, Blippi, for Halloween. Uh, well, I wanted to pick out some yummy candy for Mika, my best friend. But Aww. there's so much candy here, I don't know what to pick. Yeah. How about if we make something special for both of you guys? We can make candy here? We make, make our own candy? Absolutely, right here, absolutely. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, let's go make awesome. some candy together. How okay, would that be? Let's do it. Let's yeah. go. Awesome. because she's such a good friend. <laughs> yeah, Mika loves candy canes, so I'm gonna make a Halloween candy cane. <laughs> yeah, and instead of this candy cane being the colors white and red, we're gonna make it Halloween colors, orange and black. Whoa, Ooh. and instead of making a peppermint candy cane, mm, let's pick a different flavor. <laughs> I think Jerry was starting to make some. Yeah, I saw him earlier take some sugar and water and put it in a really big bowl, start mixing it up. <laughs> but I wonder how mixing up some sugar and water turns into a candy cane. 
<laughs> Let's go ask him. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for having me. And Jerry, what are you making right now? Well, we're making candy canes. We're going to do Halloween candy canes. We're going to make candy canes oh. that are orange and black. This is sugar, water, and corn syrup. We just oh. added some color to it. We're oh. making our orange here. Aren't candy canes normally hard? Well, they're hard because of the temperature we cook the candy. Once it sets up cold, then it'll be a hard candy. But you can see it's very, very warm at this yeah. point still. So very, very warm. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's really soft right now because it's so warm. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to stack this up here just a little bit. Whoa. So this will be the white part. We're going to add some flavor to that here in just a minute. So we're making orange creamsicle flavor here. So we're going to add a couple flavors. Jerry made a hole in the center, put in the flavor, and now we're gonna cover it up. Cover it up! <laughs> Whoa! So we're gonna mix this in for a minute or so here. I'm starting to smell it. Mm, smell that orange? <laughs> yeah, it smells like orange. Just like your orange glasses. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, one of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> oh, and blue. <laughs> oh. Well, now we're going to take it over the hook here in just a minute, and we'll show you how we're going to turn it nice and white. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at it go. Yeah. It's stretching out the sugar on the hook. Oh, hey, look. It's starting to change colors. Yeah. It was kind of a dark yellowy orange color, and now it's getting lighter and lighter until it turns white. Could I try tossing the candy cane? Absolutely. We're going to have you come over here to my right, and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Now, it is a little bit warm, so you want to just okay. lift it up. You're going to pull it out. Lift it up and throw it on the hook. Okay. And I lift it with my left hand. There we go. Let's get to try that there. It's also really heavy because this is a lot of candy cane. <laughs> That's about 17 <gasps> pounds right there you're pulling on the hook. <laughs> yeah, this is too much sugar for one candy cane. That would be a giant candy cane. Uh -oh. Okay, uh -oh. <laughs> I have candy cane on my fingers. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's why we leave the candy making to the professionals. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I think I need a little more practice. Terry's gonna bring the candy cane mix over here. Yeah. I think we're gonna mix the colors with the tasty orange flavored candy cane sugar. Yeah. That's the white part. So here's that big white block. Remember, we were pulling it out here. Mm -hmm. Let me change my gloves real quick. Oh. And I'm going to have you actually make this into a big square block if you can. Can you okay. do that? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah, right here. I have this here. Let me show you. I'm just going to pick it up. I'm going to let it fall on that side and pick it up. Let it fall on that side. Okay. Just keep doing that over and over again. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you want to make it into a square shape. Yeah, it'll now actually be like a cube. Mm -hmm. now, so now we're going to add our color to it. Just keep it just like that. We're going to put our Ooh. black stripe on this side of it. Ooh. And black and orange are what colors for what, what holiday? Whoa, I know. Halloween! That's right, that's Whoa. right. So now we'll take our orange stripe. We're gonna put that on the other side of the block here, just like that. Wow. Now we're gonna stretch this out here. Hmm. So black stripe on that side. Oh. Orange stripe on that side. Anybody out there bowl? Any bowlers? Maybe you can take that to the bowling lanes. What do you think? Yeah, it looks like a bowling pin. How about this? What other sport would this be? Maybe a little baseball bat? Whoa! <laughs> Home run! <laughs> now we'll take it on the table here. We're gonna stretch it out. Is this a heater? This is a heater, yeah. This is to keep oh. it nice and warm. Remember, we want to keep it around 165, 175 degrees. Oh. That's what that does for us. So we're going to stretch it out here. Oh, check it out. Well, we have these right here, but mm, they still don't quite look like candy canes. Now, Abby's going to step in here and show us how to do that. So, Hi, okay? Abby. <laughs> Whoa! Roll them. Whoa! Your little shape bait. Oh, hey! <laughs> look at that! Yeah! Can I pick one up? Yeah. Oh, look at this! Yeah, Abby was rolling them out and then shaped them just like a candy cane. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! These are certainly some scary Halloween candy canes! Whoa! <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Oh, can I try shaping one? Yes. So you roll it? Yep. Roll, roll it. it. Ooh. Nice and soft. Still warm. Then, take that. Whoa, look at all this candy! 
Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> thank you. We just want to thank you for coming out today and helping us make some candy. You did such a great job. <laughs> oh, well, you are a really good teacher. Yeah, look, we made candy canes, candy hoops, <laughs> Ooh, a candy heart, a candy curly cue, mm -hmm. <laughs> and candy pillows. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Mika is going to love these. <laughs> you know, I think she's making something special for you, so I'm gonna head back that way and see what she's making for you. Oh, okay. I wonder what she's making. My hands washed nice and clean, and I'm wearing an apron. I'm ready to make some treats. Well, welcome to the back room at Logan's. This is where we make our candy. We wow. made some marshmallow today. We're gonna cut out some special shapes for Blippi for a little bit later. Wow, what is marshmallow exactly? I know I love it. It's super sweet, but how do you make it? It's, it's so good. It's a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup. We cook it in a kettle up to about 200 degrees or more. We then add it with some other things. We put it in our mixing, we whip it up. We whip this white fluff you see here. We spread it on the table. Now we're ready to cut out some shapes so Whoa. we can dip it in chocolate. Kind of like when you use cookie dough and you roll it out flat and you can use cookie cutters. I didn't know you could do that with marshmallow. Yes, yeah, same thing. We're going to do cut it out with some shapes. And of course, being it's Halloween, we're going to use a pumpkin <gasps> shape. So. Oh yeah, check it out. And it's an orange pumpkin, one of Lippy's favorite colors. <laughs> okay, press down and check it out. A pumpkin marshmallow. So what do you like about making candy? Well, you know, of course, the most fun thing would be eating the candy. That oh, is definitely yeah. the best. But, you know, making it, letting people watch us make it and helping us make it, that's always fun, too. So I do love making candy. Oh, that's awesome. And I bet it feels really good to give candy to others for special treats or gifts. And oh, who doesn't love candy, right? I know. I think pretty much everyone. <laughs> Do you have any other kind of cookie cutter other than a oh, pumpkin? Let's have a special one. Maybe we can cut Blippi on one of these. <gasps> oh, look, it's a red heart. This is perfect because Blippi is my best friend. Oh, okay, let's do a heart marshmallow. Blippi's going to love this. And now I get to dip it in chocolate. <laughs> Check it out, we're in a chocolate room. What's your name? I'm Susie, I'm Jerry, the candy man's wife. Oh, hi Susie, I'm hi. Mika. Hi Mika. So Jerry helped me make marshmallow pumpkins for my best friend Blippi, and now I wanna coat them in some chocolate. Yeah, that's my job. Oh, can you show us how you do it? Yes, I just pick the candy up, uh -huh. the marshmallow up, and just <gasps> gently <gasps> smush it around in all the really creamy chocolate. Oh. Make sure both Sides are coated evenly. <gasps> Look and at all of that chocolate. Let a little excess drip off. Oh. Give it a nice scrape and then slide it onto the tray. Whoa, that's a lot of chocolate on that pumpkin marshmallow. Maybe you could help decorate them. Oh, I would love to decorate. Oh, I see some little candy pieces that I could use. Ooh, are you gonna do another one? Yes. All right, so I'll make two pumpkins for Blippi. Have some jelly beans here, and they're orange, one of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> and they have some candy corn. You see a lot of candy corn around Halloween time. <laughs> Yum. Okay, let's see. Oh, I really like that face. I think I'm gonna copy it. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Hello, happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, I have an idea for this one. I'll use orange jelly beans and do a border all around the pumpkin. I think Blippi will really like this for Halloween. Oh, they look so good. Thanks so much for your help. You're very welcome, my pleasure. Well, let's go see what Blippi's up to. Come on! <laughs> Yay! That was such a fun day! 
Mika, did you make some candy? Oh, yeah, I did. Ooh. Did you make candy? <laughs> Special candy just for you. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hi, guys. Thank you for making candy with us. It was a great day. Just want to pass your candy on to you. There you go. Oh, well, thank you, thank so, you so much. much. <laughs> and thanks for being a great teacher. We learned how to make really yummy treats. Mm -hmm. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, you guys. Thank you so All much, right. guys. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Ooh, Mika. This is the candy I made for you. Oh, and Blippi, here's the candy I made for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> see. Oh. Whoa. Candy cane. <laughs> I've never seen a Halloween candy cane before. I love the orange in it. <laughs> it's so cool. And it's orange flavored. Whoa, I love orange. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness, a heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and Mika, whoa! Check it out, it's a jack-o'-lantern! A chocolate jack-o'-lantern? Yep. It's a little squishy, though. Uh-huh. Is it marshmallow? Yep. <gasps> These look so yummy! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. You're welcome, <laughs> and I have a little surprise for you right here in my bag. For me? I also made you a heart. Oh, Mika, I love it! <laughs> whoa, marshmallow chocolate heart! Yeah. Yum! <laughs> Super tasty. Mm. Thanks for being such a good friend. <laughs> Thank you for being a good friend. <laughs> well, today was so fun. Yeah, it was really cool learning how to make a candy cane. You took sugar, put it in a kettle, mix it up, and then you have to pull and pull Whoa. and pull and then twist and then you make candy canes. <laughs> wow, it sounds like a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. It was really heavy. Oh. Hmm. Well, I learned how to make marshmallow oh. and I got to use pumpkin cookie cutters and a heart cookie cutter to cut out those shapes out of marshmallow, kind of like cookie dough. Hmm, but marshmallows? Yeah! <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yep, and then we coated them in chocolate and I got to decorate them with candy. It was so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, I love decorating. Me too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> nice. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. All right, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Woo! <laughs>And today, we're here at Easter Seals, Southern California. And we get to visit one of their therapy centers. <laughs> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> this room is awesome. Look. <laughs> Looks like there's so many fun things to play on. <laughs> this is a basketball hoop. Whoa, check it out. There's the hoop, <laughs> the backboard, <laughs> and the net. Ooh. And we want to try to get this ball in the net. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, we missed. <laughs> Ooh. But that's okay. If you try something the first time and you miss, that's okay. You do it again and again and again. <laughs> That's called practice. And if you do lots of practice, then you're sure to get better. And I want to get better at basketball. Woohoo! Uh-oh, we missed again. But I have a really good idea. Slam dunk! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if there's anybody else around here that I could play with. Hmm. Hmm. You know, a good way to make friends is to introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and then just ask them to play. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> See, it's that easy. And now you and I are best friends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check out this slide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, 
Do you hear that? Huh, what's that noise? Oh, <laughs> hey, check it out. <laughs> hello, hi. Whoa, hello there. <laughs> wow, do you see it? It's a real life robot. <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Hans. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> hi, Hans, it's so nice to meet you. Ooh. Hey, maybe we can ask Hans a question. <laughs> Hans, would you like to be our friend? <laughs> hey, did you see that? Hans did a little dance. <laughs> that means he's happy. And it must mean yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Hans, now that we're friends, what should we do together? Over there, please. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, Hans put out his hand he motioned for us to go with him. Hmm, <laughs> I bet Hans has somewhere fun to take us. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Hey look, Hans was pointing at the table. <laughs> it looks like there are some healthy snacks over there. <laughs> Hans, did you set those out for me to eat? Yes, Blippi. Ah, <laughs> that is so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? I said thank you. Do you use words like please and thank you too? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans. That was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please, <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table. And he also said, thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> Yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look, it's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay, step number two, hands wet. Okay, <laughs> Woo. Woo. now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three, rub hands with soap. And because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Woo. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and whoa, ten. Whoa. And because we don't want soapy hands, we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next. We turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> <laughs> now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Oh, look, <laughs> it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Check it out. Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah. <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft. Soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try some tomatoes. Woo. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa, those tomatoes have so much flavor. <laughs> They're kind of salty and they certainly are juicy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Whoa, and look, <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, hello trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, <laughs> and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but this celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and kind of tastes a little sweet. Mmm. <laughs> I like that celery. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, and check it out. It's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah. The orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Check it out! <laughs> he moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go play. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing! <laughs> Look, there's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing. <laughs> Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Ooh, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Woo, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. 
We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But what game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10 and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me! Hooray! I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. Hans, you found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I found you! <laughs> you found me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun! It was! <laughs> oh, well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Uh, bye! Bye! Bye, Hans! Bye-bye. <laughs> it was nice to meet you! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs>
some awesome dancing, Hans. I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Blippi. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the Robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And we're at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. And I am so excited because we get to learn about animals and their routines. A routine is something you do over and over and over and over, sometimes every day. And my routine is to wake up in the morning and be really curious. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, I'm here with my good friend Heidi. Heidi is a wildlife care specialist and knows all about flamingos. <laughs> Good thing we're here at the Flamingo Habitat. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. Hi, Blippi. Would you like to feed some flamingos? I would love to feed the flamingos. Whoa. Hello, friends. Oh, we're going to get down low because the flamingos, they bend their neck down to drink some tasty food. <laughs> here you go, friends. <laughs> Whoa, this one's pretty noisy. <laughs> he is noisy. He's one of our top boys, so there is a hierarchy in here, so the top birds might come over and feed and push the smaller ones off. Oh, hello. <laughs> so this is just a little bit of dog food and water, and it is one of their uh, favorite treats to eat, but it's not their normal amount of food. Oh, well, what do they normally eat? So um, they're going to get a regular pellet, a design at the... It, for zoos specifically, and in that pellet is a lot of the good stuff they need. More specifically, that carotenoid pigment that turns oh. them pink. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah. They love dog food for a treat, but they also have pellets. Yeah, there's vitamins in there that turn them pink. <laughs> yeah, those vitamins are really important for flamingos. <laughs> That's right. Whoa. So if they don't get those pigments, they're not going to stay this pink coloration. It has to constantly be deposited into their bloodstream. But do you notice something about the flamingos here? There's one that is not the same color. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a flamingo over here that's the color white. Whoa, check them out. That is a greater flamingo and they come from Africa. They do not get as brightly colored and pink as the Caribbean or the American flamingos from where they come from. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, you're an American flamingo. That means you're pink. <laughs> but the greater flamingo is the color white. <laughs> Whoa, they are loving these treats. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, I love flamingos because I love to dress up nice and colorful. And guess what? Flamingos, they're pink. They're also nice and colorful. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Hi, Blippi. Whoa, who's this? This is Kali. She's a ground couscous. <laughs> Hello, Kali. Wow, Kali's a ground couscous. I've never heard of that animal before. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, she comes from Papua New Guinea. Whoa, oh, Papua New Guinea. That's really far away from where I live. <laughs> she is so cute. Look, she has really big eyes. Whoa, <laughs> can she see really well? She does see really well, but only at night. She's nocturnal, so she's oh. asleep during the day. And then at nighttime, she can see everything as long as the sun's not in her eyes. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. She's nocturnal, and those big eyes help her to see at night. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I'm learning all about routines. You know Kali's daily routine? Well, yeah, we're pretty close. So in the mornings, I'll go in, give her a little bit of food, make sure she's okay, scatter around some brows like acacia. And then I leave at the evening, she throws a party because it's really messy the next morning when I come to clean again. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a fun routine, throwing a party at night. Whoa. <laughs> wow. And do, uh, does a couscous live with the family or 
Do they kind of live alone? They kind of live alone. They'll meet up every once in a while, invite each other to each other's parties. But other than that, she kind of just roams around looking for food. Oh, well, she is so cuddly and so cute. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. She has a really long tail. Whoa, do you see it? <laughs> it doesn't have any hair on it. Hmm. Why yeah. is that? It is a prehensile tail, which means she kind of uses it like a finger. She uses it to grab onto things and uh, gets a little extra grip to make sure she doesn't fall out of trees. Oh, look, she's climbing. <laughs> That's tasty, right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to give her some space so she can go on a climbing adventure. Look at her go. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa, she moves so quickly. <laughs> She's eating another banana. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It's a beaver. <laughs> Julia, what kind of beaver is this? This is a North American beaver named Justine Beaver. Oh, <laughs> Justine Beaver. That's a good name. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Looks like she's having a really good time munching on some yummy food. <laughs> she loves to eat all of her snacks. Aw. Well, Julia, we've been learning about different routines animals have. Does Justine Beaver have a daily routine? She actually does have a daily routine. <laughs> Every morning, wildlife care specialists come in and we say hi to her and we give her breakfast. So she's very good about eating her breakfast every morning, which always includes some greens. Ooh, I do that too. Eat breakfast every morning. <laughs> but every once in a while, she does like to sleep in as well. Oh, I do that too. <laughs> and then we give her a lot of different fresh branches and browse, which is part of her favorite diet. Ooh. And so she'll actually take that and she makes her own bedding every single day. Whoa, she makes her bed every day? Yep, she takes the branches and browse and <laughs> creates her whole entire habitat full of different leaves and sticks and she moves it all around. We give her different things to play with in there. So sand, uh, mud, a whole variety of different things that she cleans up inside her house. Wow, she sounds like she's a very clean and tidy beaver making her bed every day. Whoa, that's a good routine. <laughs> wow, check it out, do you see? Look, Justine has a really, really big tail. Whoa, hello Justine. <laughs> Look at her tail. Why does she have such a big tail like that? Well, beavers are semi-aquatic animals, meaning they spend part of their time in land, but they spend most of it in the water. And so she has those webbed feet that you can see, that really big tail that serves as a paddle. They even have nose or nostrils that they can close, uh, basically like nose plugs, so she can swim underwater. Whoa, that's really cool. Wow, you are an amazing animal, Justine. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Ooh. You think we could see her do some swimming? I think so. She does love to swim. I think she's going to finish all of her little treats right there, and then we can go watch her take a dive into the water. <laughs> Whoa, this is going to be amazing. We get to see Justine Beaver go for a swim. <laughs> but first, she needs to finish her snack. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, hi. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like she's going to the water. See you later. Whoa, look at her go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute swimming in the water. Oh, and do you see that tail? Yeah, it's like a paddle. She's going so zooming through the water <laughs> with a big paddle tail. Wow, Justine Beaver is so good at swimming. <laughs> Hi, Tanya, who's this? This is Grace. Hello, Grace. Whoa, what kind of animal is Grace? Grace is called a lesser hedgehog tenric. Whoa, a lesser hedgehog tenric? Oh, I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> she sure is cute. Yeah, you see, she has a little nose and little eyes and big ears. <laughs> wow, can she hear really well with those big ears? Absolutely, she uses those big ears to listen for her food. Whoa, that's really cool. <laughs> hey, and she looks kind of pokey. What are those on her back? So those are spines. They help keep her safe from any other animals that might want to eat her. <laughs> Whoa, and does Grace have any routines? Yeah, so Grace is a nocturnal animal. Ooh, <laughs> nocturnal. 
that means Grace likes to be up at night. Yeah. <laughs> so she comes out at night to find all her food. Oh, that sounds really cool. Waking up, being nocturnal at night, but eating breakfast at night, <laughs> that's silly. Whoa, is it okay if I touch her? Yeah, please feel free. Just be careful because those spines are very sharp. Okay. <laughs> Here, Ooh, I'm gonna move this spiky pine cone away from spiky grace. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, whoa, you sure are. Cute and amazing creature. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. My pleasure. It was nice to meet you, Grace. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, I'm here with my good friend Krista. She's a wildlife care specialist and knows all about animals. And she has a new animal to show us. <laughs> what is this animal we're about to see? You're about to meet a binturong, right? I've ne a lot of people have never heard of a binturong a before. Binturong? <laughs> That's a fun name. <laughs> yeah, his name is Key. And Binturongs are from Southeast Asia, and he spends most of his time up in the treetops. So you're gonna see him climbing in different areas. And Whoa, it's good, because it looks like we have lots of trees and ropes for the Binturong to climb on. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see him. Oh, here he comes. Whoa, check him out. Look at how wow. big and fluffy he is right now. Wow. And he's getting some of his favorite treats up in that tree. Uh, so he is has the ability to kind of stand on one area and reach up and grab any morsels that might be on a branch that can't support his weight. Wow, look at his tail, it's so big. And he's such a cool looking animal. I've never seen anything that looks like this before. <laughs> Watch oh. how he utilizes his tail. You can see he's grabbing onto it a little bit just to help stabilize his body, to keep him nice and safe. Whoa. <laughs> He certainly is nice and stable with that tail. Whoa. Oh, and Krista, I've been learning about daily routines. Does this Binturong Key have a daily routine? He absolutely has a daily routine. His daily routine is to sleep all day. Doesn't that sound mm. nice sometimes? <laughs> that sounds really nice. <laughs> but when we all go to bed, he is going to wake up and he's gonna spend his whole night having a blast he loves to climb around. You can see him climbing right now. He also really enjoys playing with different things and getting treats. Um, so he spends a lot of his night running around and climbing and having a great time. He is so good at balancing and climbing. <laughs> Check him out. This is an amazing animal. <laughs> uh, he is loving those apples. <laughs> Munch, munch, munch! <laughs> he does really particularly love his fruit. And he'd hang around fruit trees and be able to, mainly fig trees, and be able to reach up and grab figs out of a tree. Whoa! Whoa! Look at him! <laughs> Hello! Wow! He is an amazing animal! <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about him and teaching me about Key's daily routines. Check it out, yeah! Sorry, the zebra is black and white. And those stripes are so cool. They make all kinds of patterns. <laughs> hello, she's saying hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Whoa, and what are you feeding her? Oh, she's getting a uh, pellet. It is like an alfalfa. So alfalfa is a type of grass. Oh. So that's what she would typically eat. Whoa, I love eating my vegetables. <laughs> it's not grass, but it sure is a plant and a yummy vegetable. <laughs> She also has a really cool daily routine. Do you want to know about that? Oh yeah, we've been learning about daily routines. <laughs> so my favorite daily routine of all of our animals, mm -hmm. she spends all day grazing, which is, means eating. Oh, eating all day. <laughs> I like that daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> she is so sweet. Look at her, she's just munching away. <laughs> Are you having a really good meal? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Can I smile? Oh. We can show off those teeth. Whoa, look at her teeth. Cheese! <laughs> look, she's smiling at me. Aw, she must be so happy. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> Did you see her teeth? Whoa, that is one happy zebra. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at her. She is so beautiful and did a wonderful turn. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching us about Sari the Zebra and her daily routine. <laughs> I'll see you later. 
Bye, Blippi. Bye, bye. Bye, Zari. Bye, bye. Wow! Wasn't it cool learning about different kinds of animals? They have routines like you and me and are all so unique. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Reporting live from Hawaii Children's Discovery Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful day. Aloha, it's me, Blippi, and today we have a special report. Yeah, on jobs and professions. Are you excited to learn about jobs and professions? Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, that's a siren. There must be a fire around here. Come on. Whoa. Yeah, we need to act like a firefighter so then we can put out the fire. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, my firefighting hat. Whoa. And then you would wear these clothes to help protect you. Oh, and look at the fire truck. Wow, do you see this ladder? Yeah, that's how firefighters climb really high. Yeah, they use ladders. Wow, I love fire trucks. Oh, and look down here. This is where you connect the water to the fire truck. You know where you connect it from? Yeah, a fire hydrant. Whoa, cool. But this fire hydrant actually has a hose connected to it. Whoa, yeah. I'm spraying so much water. Wow, firefighters love to spray water. Yeah, because then it puts out the fire. Yeah, that's on the building. All right, let's put this back. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to drive the fire truck. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, I love driving fire trucks. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, and the sirens? Yeah, and the lights? Wow, being a firefighter would be so cool because you know you get to help so many people. Whoa, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now that the lug nuts are off, we can remove the wheel and tire. You know what shape this is? Yeah, a circle. All right, let's go replace it with this brand new one over here. All right, wow, a nice brand new one. And then we need three lug nuts. One, two, three. Wow, that last tire was flat, but this one is nice and pumped up. All right, let's put it right here. Ooh, being a mechanic is hard work. <laughs> All right, let's start the lug nuts just like this. All right, there's one, here's two, and then the last one. So what you do is you barely put it on, just with your hands like that. And then you take this, and this tightens them up. Wow, that was so much fun acting like a car mechanic. Wow, shall we keep exploring? Let's go. Whoa, your town bank. Yeah, many towns have banks. Let's go act like we're a bank teller. <laughs> bank tellers sit down right here and then wait for people to deposit or to take out money. You can act like one of those people. Oh, hello, how can I help you? Oh, you would like some money? All right, hold on, let me access your account. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, I love acting like a bank teller. All right, I'll be right over. Whoa, hey, now I can act like I'm a worker. Yeah, at just a store. Yeah, and I just went to the bank. Now I gotta go to my job. All right, yeah, I'm a grocery worker. Whoa, yeah, also known as a grocer. <laughs> All right, I'm at work now. <laughs> oh, come into the grocery store. Whoa! Shall we get some groceries? Oh, yeah! How about some peaches? What a yummy fruit. <laughs> Ooh! 
and pineapple. Wow, I love pineapple. It is so sweet, such a yummy fruit, and they grow a lot on Hawaii, which is one of our states in America. Okay, I think this is enough. Wait, maybe we should get a vegetable. Oh, yeah, like a head of lettuce? Okay, ooh, and some pears, yum. Maybe we should go check out. Yeah, so then I can act like a cashier at a grocery store. All right, we have some peaches. We have green beans. Oh, the pineapple. Okay, a couple more. Ooh, and we have the pears. Yeah, very healthy. And we also grabbed the lettuce. <laughs> also very healthy. All right, and your total. Whoa, that's a big number. <laughs> cool. And the person that bags all these up is the courtesy clerk. So then they can give you the groceries that you got and then you can go home. Well, it's the end of my shift. So maybe I'll go explore and see what other professions and jobs we can find. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, I need to mail off this letter. All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a fun journey. <laughs> Wait a second. Post office workers are very important. They make sure mail and packages go from one location to the next. What a challenging job that is. But hey, why don't you and I act like a post office worker? <laughs> All right, first things first, we have to dress like one. Check out my hat, yeah! Keeps the sun out from my face while walking around town picking up the mail. Oh, and then I'll wear this shirt. Yeah! Now I'm looking like a post office worker, right? Yeah! The best post office in the world is me! And my name's Sean. <laughs> All right, and look at this! This is what I collect my mail in. All right, let's walk over here and Let's open this up. Whoa, look at all those letters. All right, let me collect them. All right, and as the post office worker, now we need to take them inside and put them in the bag. All right, here we go. Whoa, now I look official, right? All right, so let's put them in the bag and then we can deliver them around town, across the country or the world. Wow, what an important job that is, right? I know, anything physical that goes from point A to point B, yeah, is gonna be delivered as a post office worker if you send it in the mail. Wow, hey, and here it is. Yeah, the veterinarian's office needs their mail. Here it is. <laughs> All right, you folks enjoy. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a post office worker. And speaking of fun jobs, why don't you and I act like a veterinarian? Wow, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, check it out. Now we're in the vet's office. Yeah, vet is short for veterinarian. Oh, and check it out. This is what they wear. Yeah, doesn't it look like a nurse? or a doctor's outfit? Yeah, because that's what they do, but they do that for animals. Wow, what an important and fun job. Oh, speaking of fun. Oh, hey kitty, hey kitty, meow, meow, meow. Oh, so cute. Why are you here? Oh, you're here because you have an upset stomach? Oh, well, I'll help you out. Oh, and do you have a dog friend? Oh, look at the dog friend. Oh, they love playing with each other. Whoa. All right, let's help the kitty out. All right, let's put the kitty right here. Oh, and then it looks like we have, wow. Look at this, and look at this, and look at this. A lot of tools that veterinarians use. Okay, there we go. Looking inside the ears, the eyes, the nose. What else do we have here? Whoa, these don't look like they're for kitties. <laughs> well, we won't use those. I definitely will use this though. Let's see here. Okay, here you go, kitty. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, we helped the kitty. Now its tummy feels a lot better. Okay, we'll put the kitty right over here. Oh, and check out these. Yeah, do you know what these are? 
Yeah, dog bones. Dogs love these. Remember our friend from earlier? <laughs> Let's see if he wants one. Hey, doggy, here you go. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a veterinarian. Wow, I sure do love different types of jobs. They're so fun. Whoa, wasn't that so much fun? I know, I had a great time. And hey, did you know a TV reporter is another job and profession? Yeah, they talk about the weather, they talk about the news. Hey, yeah, the news today is we had so much fun. <laughs> wow, isn't it cool how different jobs do different things in town to make things run? And every job is very important. Great, I wonder what you're gonna be when you grow up. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Aloha. <laughs>
Oh, I'm at the base of the mountain. Ooh, maybe it's Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Ooh, I'm getting to the top and it's getting really cold. The higher you go, the colder it gets. <laughs> Whoa, I made it to the summit. Hey, hello down there. I see you. Hey, meet me over here, okay? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a slide. Whoa, will you count me down from three? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, that was a fast slide. Whoa, what's this? Oh, a bunch of white circles. Oh, on the end of wooden dowels? Oh, I know what this is. I have an idea. Check this out. Whoa, there we go. Oh, if you push your body into it, and then you walk away, check it out. Whoa, look, it's me. See my body right here? Whoa, and then my arm, and then my other arm. Oh, and my two legs. Cool, this place is awesome. Whoa, yeah, whoa, what's all this? Oh, a bunch of blue pieces of hard foam. Look at this, it's a circle with two circles in it. Hey, and look at this, a giant cylinder. Oh, maybe you could, yeah. Imagine yourself with a hammer, a giant hammer. Wait a second, I'm a construction worker. I'm gonna build a town with my giant hammer. Okay, let's see here, what could I use? Yeah. Oh, I can use this. It has the base of a building. Okay, we'll go like that. Ooh, and look at this, a circle. Let's put it right there. Whoa, and look at this giant rectangle. It's almost as big as me. Okay, perfect, okay. Whoa, another rectangle, but look, it has a hole inside. Hello. <laughs> okay. There we go. Whoa! And then, if we put this right up top there, we made the tallest building ever! Well, with our imaginations, if you were the size of an ant. Oh, yeah! Now we can imagine this is wind. Whoa! All right, let's keep exploring. Whoa, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Whoa, what's this area? Ooh, it looks like a bunch of blue rope. Okay, here we go. Oh, I know. I'm gonna imagine myself to be an animal that loves to climb. <laughs> yeah, a monkey. <laughs> I wonder where this leads to. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, it's pretty dark in here. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Oh, yeah! I found the end. Cool. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. A construction site. I love construction sites. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, it looks like we have some orange and yellow foam. And it looks like a very old house. Hey, why don't we imagine ourselves being a wrecking ball? Then we can wreck this house, so then we can build a new one. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! I love imagining being a wrecking ball. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Construction is awesome! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! 
<laughs> Check it out! An excavator! Ooh, I am an excavator! Yeah, look! I got an arm, a boom, and a bucket over there. <laughs> Whoa, and look down there! Whoa, my tracks! Yeah! Ooh, and right here's my cab. Ooh, it's nice and cozy in here. This is where the operator sits. Cool! Oh, all right, dirt. See you later. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, hey, there you are. Whoa! I was just climbing another mountain. Whoa! This is Mount Kilimanjaro. It is so tall. Whoa! I should probably get down, huh? Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome. It was so much fun imagining things today. Yeah, like climbing Mount Everest and Mount Kilimanjaro. Ooh, and also imagining that we had a wrecking ball. That was so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> Whoa! This is so cool! I can't believe I'm driving a real race car! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Flippy! And hey! It's me, Mika! You see what I see? <gasps> Whoa! A giant racetrack! <laughs> We're at the Daytona International Speedway! And Daytona meets Florida! <laughs> and hey, Fluffy, look! Race cars! They're so colorful! <laughs> I think we should take a closer look. Yeah! See, Fluffy? Real <laughs> race cars! Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Mika, these are toy race cars. Well, they look much bigger from far away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Well, anyway, something we can do with these cars is race. Look, okay. they're remote controlled. Cool. Whoa, here's one for me and, and one, one for you. me. I probably should put this down. Yes. <laughs> okay, on your mark. Get set. And go. Go. Whoa. Woo. Hey, I'm going to get you, Mika. I'm right behind you! Whee! Whoa! It looks like a it's, best friend tie! It's a tie! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey! Okay, this time I do see a real race car. Really? Uh-huh. We should probably go take a closer look then. Yeah, follow me! Okay. Oh, and this looks like a really fast race car. Yeah, and look. Do you know this animal on front? Oh, Mika, I know this animal. <laughs> it's a horse. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Nice. Nice. laughs> oh, but Mika, huh? do you notice something? Oh, look. This grill is a sticker, Whoa. and these headlights are also stickers. Why? Huh. Well, they're stickers because you wouldn't want the headlights can be made of glass if you're racing. It's a lot safer if it's just a sticker. Oh yeah, <laughs> first things first. Safety, Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and check out this side of the race car. Cool. Whoa, look at it all. Whoa. <laughs> hey, do you see what color this race car is, Mika? Yeah, <laughs> two of my favorite colors. Purple and some yellow on the tires. Whee. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and these wheels and tires look so big. Check yeah. it out! Whoa, they're really smooth. Ooh, I wanna feel. You feel? Wow. Very smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah, and they're kinda hairy, too. <laughs> well, that's funny. A real race car driver! Let's go say hi. Mm -hmm. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Check it out! It's NASCAR Cup champion, oh, Joey, Joey Logano! Logano. Yeah. Whoa, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Hello, I'm Mika. 
I know. Nice to see you. I watched this. Are you kidding me? That's so nice of you. Well, we were learning all about racing today, and we noticed there's some race cars over here. What are they doing? Yeah, so right now they're going through tech. Oh. So what they have to make sure is that all the cars are the same. Oh. So, so it's a fair race. So it's a fair race out there. So they have a lot of different things that they go through to make sure all the cars fit certain templates, certain uh, things. So not one car has way more horsepower than the other or way more downforce than another. Make sure they're the same weight, all those things. Ooh. Oh, what makes the car go fast? Horsepower. Oh. Big motors help. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of horse. <laughs> that kind of horse. Totally different kind of horsepower. Yeah. A little bit different. <laughs> it sounds even louder. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We Horsepower is big, uh -huh. downforce is big, right? So when the air is pushing down on the race car, that creates grip. Oh. So you want to have that and you want to uh -huh. have not much drag. Oh. So you want the car to be able to go through the air without it pulling you back. Oh, or without yeah. the wind pulling you back. So yeah. You Definitely don't want your car flying away. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Be good. <laughs> oh, and Joey, do you think you could maybe teach us what it takes to be a driver? I sure can. Okay, let's go. Woo, come on. <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool learning all about your car, but Joey, what do you do before you race? Well, before you strap in the car for a long race, just like riding in the road, <laughs> in a car ride for a long time, you want to stretch out. Oh, so you okay. gotta maybe stretch your legs out a little bit. Sure. You want to cramp up while you're up there racing. So maybe <gasps> you touch your toes a little oh. bit, you know, if you can. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> and your arms a lot, you're driving a lot, so your arms get tired, so you want to make sure you're okay. flexible with your <sighs> arms. Yeah. Get it all stretched out there. Both arms, left and right. Yes, because we do turn right every now and again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and Joey, have you always wanted to be a race car driver? From as young as I can remember, I got a go-kart when I was six or seven. Ooh, and that that's all I did when I got home from school. It was just make laps in the backyard. I tore up the yard. Whoa. The grass was gone. <laughs> but it was okay. Grass, see you it later. worked out okay. <laughs> hey, whoa. Hey, have you driven in a go-kart before? <laughs> well, hey, maybe one day, who knows, you'll end up like this guy. Yeah, just like Joey. <laughs> well, Joey, that was so nice to meet you, and thank you for teaching us all about being a driver. Absolutely. I'm Good luck. Came by. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, and Joey, can we go drive a race car now? Well, I'd say before you go out there going 200 miles an hour, maybe check out the simulator first so you know where the turns are. You don't miss a turn going that fast. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. A simulator <laughs> so we can practice driving first. That's okay. right. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye, right. Joey. Bye, see you guys. Joey. Have a good one. Let's go. <laughs> check it out. Hey, guys. Race car driver Tyler Reddy. Hey, How's, How's it going? going? It's going good. Yeah. Glad you guys are here. Oh, well, yeah. We've been having so much fun today learning all about cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, We'd hey. love to practice race car driving. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, do you think you could tell us a little bit more and maybe help us on the simulators? I absolutely can. We got three simulators here and uh, three things to keep in mind uh -huh. at Daytona. Don't lift off the gas. Okay. Be very smooth with the steering wheel uh -huh. and don't hit the brake. Whoa. Don't hit the brake. Yeah. Those are pretty, pretty good straight tips. Forward. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. So yeah, this is the steering wheel. And on this steering wheel here, you'll have the shifter to go up gears on this side, uh -huh. and this to go down gears on this side. Whoa. Under here, you got the gas pedal on the right, uh -huh. the brake is in the middle, and the clutch is on the left. The clutch is kind of helps the car get going. Oh, so, okay. Yep. How many gears are there? There are five gears. So as you go up through the gears, you'll end up in fifth gear. That's the gear you want to be in. Whoa, because we're going fast. Yes, very fast, <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah. Do you think we could all race together? Let's do it. Yeah, Woo! let's see what you got. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Here we yeah. go. Oh, oh, I can't believe we get to race an actual race car driver. Here we go. I'm going to win. Woo! Oh. Yeah. 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 Great job, Tyler. Great job, Whoa. Lizzie. You guys on the racetrack going the right way? We are. I don't know. Yeah, I am definitely going the right way. I'm doing my best. Whoa. Whoa. I'm struggling over here. <laughs> Whoa. But it's still fun. <laughs> I think I'm right behind you, Tyler, but Whoa. not sure. Who's gonna I win? see you back there. I can imagine being out there with all those cars. Whoa, so, so fast. <laughs> Definitely be exciting. You guys are doing great. Thanks, Tyler. Aw, uh, thanks. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Tyler, I want to beat you. All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> no, I'm going to win. Coming to the stripe. Here we go! This is I don't know who won! I can't tell! <laughs> yeah, it looks like I got 51242. Two. 51242. Two. I had a 51150, but hey, that's really close. I think you're ready. What'd yeah. you get? 
nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Tyler won the race, but that makes sense because he's a professional. Well, thanks, guys. Whoa, I think awesome. you're ready to go. We do, we do. Think you're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Well, hey, just yes. remember, got to have your safety equipment on before you get in the real thing. Oh, you got yeah. to have your helmet on right and have your seatbelts tight. But I think you guys are ready to go. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> have fun. Thank That's you. Awesome. Let's go suit up. Yes. First things first. Safety first. first. All right. See you later. Bye, guys. Yeah. Have fun. Whoa, Mika, look at this race car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait to drive one. <laughs> okay, since I drove the simulator first, you can drive the race car first. Oh, Mika, thanks. <laughs> no problem, bestie. Oh, that's really nice of you. And I am so excited to get out there on the track and speed around. <laughs> get in, okay. get in. Time to climb in. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. One leg and two leg. Woo. Watch your head. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. And remember, you don't want to forget your seatbelt. Oh. Yay, go, Clippy! Woo! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, this is really fast. Check it out. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Go, Flippy, go! Oh, this is kind of bumpy. Look at how fast I'm going. Watch out, here comes Flippy! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! Great job, Flippy! Whoa! <laughs> that was so much fun, Mika! Yay! Whoa. But now that I finished driving, it's your turn! Yes, Woo! it's my turn! Whoa! 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 That's fun! Okay. okay, time for me to get in! Whoa! There you go! <laughs> oh, and while Mika's driving, I'm gonna be cheering her on! Woo! Here okay. I go! See you at the finish line! Whoa. Come on! <laughs> oh, maybe we can come up with our very own cheer for Mika! Mika, Mika, Mika! Mika, 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 Mika! Yeah! Go, Mika! Woo! Whoa, this is so cool! I can't believe I'm driving a real race car! Yeah! Vroom, vroom. Race car, Mika, coming down the track! She's right there! Mika! Woo! Yeah! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! <laughs> That was fast! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe how fast I'm going! Oh, whoa! <laughs> this is so fast! <laughs> whoa! That's her! There you go! Woo! Pretty tricky getting out of there. I know, it's hard. Whoa. Whoa. That was so fun! Yeah. We rode in a real race car! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! Woo! 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 Woo. 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 Yeah. drivers, they were so cool. so cool! And we learned that downforce is what makes the car go really fast! Whoa, <laughs> yeah, really fast! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our name! <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go! <laughs> Ready? B-L-I B-I -I. Flippy! Good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M E E K A H Mika. <laughs> okay, race ya. Mm. <laughs> okay, you're on. Woo! Hey, it's 
it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here in Santa Ana, California. And I am so excited because you and I get to check out a Smash My Trash Truck <laughs> and learn about what happens after you throw away your garbage. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's so big. <laughs> this is a Smash My Trash Truck and it looks very familiar. Hmm, it has a cab and a boom. It looks just like an excavator, <laughs> but it's a little different. An excavator is yellow. But this Smash My Trash Truck is the color red. <laughs> and this truck doesn't dig dirt like an excavator. <laughs> It smashes trash! <laughs> Ooh, let's get a closer look. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> hey, this is the cab. Yeah, that's where the operator sits. And look, that's Operator Max. <laughs> yeah, he has all the controls to control the boom. <laughs> and he can see everything that's happening so he can keep people safe. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, this is a really big and important part of the Smash My Trash Truck. It's the Smashing Drum. <laughs> Not that kind of drum, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no, this drum helps to smash the trash. Yeah, it's really big and really heavy and chew up trash, or wood or metal. <laughs> Whoa! Basically, anything but not concrete. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, look. The smashing drum has really big teeth. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, really big teeth to get into all that trash. <laughs> Whoa! It's so huge and it's so heavy. To move this truck around, you need really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Whoa, they're so big. They're as big as me. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look. This truck, it doesn't dig dirt and it doesn't just drive around. Because it has to smash trash, we need the trash. And we have it right here. <laughs> Whoa, this, it's kind of like a garbage can, but this, it's not a garbage can. It's a 40 foot hauling bin. <laughs> Whoa, that is so big. Yeah, it's so big that it can hold up to 10 tons of trash. Whoa, <laughs> and they use these to take the trash from a garbage can to the bin and to the bin to a landfill. Yeah, or a dump. <laughs> but when we're smashing the trash inside the hauling bin, we need to use wheel chucks. <laughs> Whoa, see? Yeah, these bins can be moved around, but when we're smashing it, the wheel chucks keep it in place so it doesn't shake or move when we're smashing the trash. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so big. Hmm, it would be really cool and fun to see some trash get smashed. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a person. Let's go say hello. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> is this your truck? Yes, it is. Whoa! <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun learning all about it. But I have a question. Why do you want to smash your trash? Well, it's simple. It's a couple of reasons. One, let's talk about the environment for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this trash has to go somewhere, correct? Yeah, like a landfill or a dump? Exactly. Oh. So what this truck does, it comes down, it's gonna smash it, it's gonna tear it, it's gonna rip it, and it's gonna compact it so Whoa. it doesn't take up so much space in the landfills. Oh, did you hear that? By smashing the trash, it makes the trash smaller. So it doesn't take up as much room, and you can put more trash in the landfill, but keep it nice and clean. <laughs> Absolutely, also what we do by smashing it down, now we're able to fill this bin a second and third time, so we eliminate the trucks on the roads that haul the trash away. Whoa! No trucks on the road means it's better for the environment. And you can refill this bin two times? Three times? Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trash. 
And most important, we save the customer money so they don't have to haul away as frequently. <laughs> and that's important too. <laughs> Uh, do you think we could see some trash get smashed? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> great. I'm gonna just go run over there and start the truck up and you'll watch Max start smashing. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to see the smash my trash truck crush some trash. Gotta make it so small and compact and it'll make it better for the environment. <laughs> Whoa, and check out the bin. <laughs> Whoa, there's so much trash here. Look, there's cardboard, Paper? Whoa! And it looks like a really big metal bin. <laughs> okay, it's getting started. <laughs> Let's back up a little so we're not too close and nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, check out the boom. <laughs> it's so tall, check it out. <laughs> Drum is awesome! <laughs> Do you see that? The smashing drone is turning and grinding up all the trash to make it smaller. Yeah, it's more compact. Whoa! The trash was this high, and now it's really low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way! There was a big plastic barrel, and it chopped it in a lot of pieces. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Whoa, this truck is so powerful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome! Hi, Steve. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> that was so fun smashing the trash. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you know what? We have another bin to smash right now. Whoa, we have another bin to smash? Do you think I could smash it? I'm thinking you should be smashing it. Oh, that would be so great. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's go smash some trash. All righty. <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi, do you think you could show me how to smash some trash? Of course, hop on in the cab. Okay, great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. I'm climbing into the cab of the truck. <laughs> Whoa. Close that for you. I'll close the door. Safety first. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the cab. Yeah. Well, Max, I really want to smash some trash, but I don't know how to start. Okay. First, let me go ahead and show you how to turn the machine on. Okay. Grab that key okay. and flip it to the right. Oh, it uses a key just like a car. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. And then once I turn it on, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and lower the boom by pressing the left joystick. Whoa, take the left joystick. Press it up. And I'll move it up. Yes. And then once I lower the drum, what do I do next? You're gonna go ahead and start rotating the drum by using the second joystick. Okay, and then the second joystick, gonna move that forward and backward and forward. <laughs> well, I think I know everything I need. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Crushing trash with the Smash My Trash Truck. And it was really interesting learning about where garbage goes once you throw it away. <laughs> well, 
that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy.